Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session where I will provide you information about SAS and the advanced level certification it offers. This session will be useful for individuals who want to build a career in data analytics domain. Beginning with the agenda, I will provide you an introduction to SAS, discuss the certification path, share the course details and then provide the exam details. After this, I will share the course outline and then start with the sneak preview section. In this section, I will elaborate on some important course concepts and later on, I will tell you how online training happens at Multisoft. At the end, I will summarize the session for you. Let's begin with an introduction to SAS. The early development phase of SAS began in 1966 in North Carolina State University by Anthony Barr. Barr programmed his analysis of variance and regression software so that it would run on IBM 360 computers. This project was funded by the NIH and was originally intended to analyze agricultural data to improve the crop yields. Barr was later joined by student James Goodnight, who developed the software's statistical routines and these two became the project leaders. The first versions of SAS were named in the year 1971 in which they were released. It was used only on IBM mainframes and had the main elements of SAS programming such as the SAS data step and the most common procedures in the PROC step. In 1976, Barr, Goodnight, Saul and Helwig took the project out of North Carolina and incorporated SAS Institute Inc. Today, SAS with the tagline Power to Know gives fact-based decisions for undeniable bottom-line impact. And this is how SAS transforms the way different clients do their business. SAS provides a combined strength of SAS solutions and technologies. SAS helps to solve real-world problems. Some of these include combating fraud in financial services, expediting drugs to market in life sciences, and identifying cross-sell opportunities in retail. SAS also solves the challenges that are faced by every industry, such as the increasing value of customer relationships, managing risk, and optimizing IT networks. SAS addresses these complex business issues using a foundation based on three key capabilities. These include information management, analytics, and business intelligence. In fact, SAS is the future of analytics. Let's move on to the importance of SAS. People who want a career in SAS often ask this question. How much money do SAS specialists make? Well, that's a reasonable question because a lucrative career with multi-dimensional opportunities is a dream of every ambitious individual and SAS provides the same. The pay rates depend upon location employer, position, experience and other factors but are generally in line with the pay of other computer specialists and data analysis specialists. You can compare your salary by visiting www.payscale.com. In terms of certification path, it is essential for all the aspiring programmers to achieve the SAS base programmer for SAS 9 certification to get certified in the other levels. In this session, we are talking about the SAS Advanced Credential. While the Advanced level is not a prerequisite for other exams, it is recommended that individuals achieve this certification. This is because the skills achieved through Advanced SAS Credential, including SQL and SAS macros, are required in the clinical SAS programming domain as well as other specialized fields. I'll now share the course details for SAS Advanced with you. Talking about the target audience, this course is ideal for programmers, analysts, data managers and anyone writing SAS programs. After attending this course, candidates will be able to use advanced data step programming statements and efficiency techniques to solve complex problems, write and interpret SAS SQL code and create and use the SAS macro facility. For SAS programmers, designations differ from organization to organization. Some of the roles include SAS programmer, SAS developer, business analyst, data analyst, ETL developer, ETL specialist, financial analyst, etc. 
There are three course books in SAS Advanced. SAS SQL 1 Essentials. The second one is SAS Macro Language 1 Essentials. And the third one is SAS Programming 3 Advanced Techniques and Efficiencies. A study of the SAS Programming 1 Essentials course book will equip candidates with querying data, summarizing and presenting data, combining tables, modifying table views, and replacing multiple data and proc steps with one SQL query. The second book, that is SAS Macro Language 1 Essentials, provides expertise in performing tech substitution in SAS code, automating and customizing the production of SAS code, conditionally or iteratively constructing SAS code, and using macro variables and macro functions. With the Advanced Techniques book, you gain a lot many skills, including benchmarking computer resource usage, controlling memory and CPU resources, creating and using indexes, combining data horizontally, etc. Moving on to the exam details now. The advanced SAS exam has a duration of 2 hours, where you need to attempt approximately 60 to 65 multiple choice questions. The passing percentage for this exam is 65% and the exam ID is A00212. The exam is conducted at Pearson View Centers and you need to pay a fee of $180 to write the exam. In order to appear for the SAS Advance exam, candidates need to achieve the base SAS certification first. Let's now take a look at the course outline. The modules you can see on the screen will be covered in detail in the online training. To download the detailed course content, you can visit our website that is www.multisoftvirtualacademy.com. Sneak preview. I know that you've been waiting for this. Here I will share some concepts related to SAS Advance. This is a teaser to give you an idea of the actual training and fortunately this section will also improve your knowledge in SAS. So let's get started. In Advanced SAS, we will be delivering sessions on SQL, macros and advanced data techniques which will help you to write efficient SAS coding. Structured Query Language is a standardized language used to query a table in the database and incorporated in the SAS as a procedural step. SQL is a tool used to retrieve and update data in a table or a database. Let's take a look at the timeline of SQL now. SQL was first time conceptualized by Dr. E. F. Codd in IBM Research Laboratory, San Jose, California in the year 1970. The first commercial SQL product was released in the year 1981. SAS v6.06 contains the SQL language as a PROC step. Now SAS uses PROC step to update, modify and retrieve query result. It can also create table, views and indexes. SQL is a part of base SAS software which follows the ANSI standards that improve the compatibility within the SAS software. Here in this program, we can see the similar kind of syntax we use to write a query in any of the other SQL languages. In this query, the SELECT statement is used to refer to the employee ID, employee gender and salary variables. From, where and order by are the clauses within the SELECT statement. In the FROM clause, the orient.employee underscore payroll dataset is referred. With the WHERE clause, we subset the employee gender as female and then sequence the data in descending order using the DESC keyword within the order by clause. The general syntax of SELECT statement is shown in the slide. With SELECT, you define the column name separated by a comma. Then in the FROM clause, you select the table name. In the WHERE clause, we write an expression to subset an observation with a given condition. The GROUP BY clause is used to group the data. The HAVING clause is to subset the data within the grouped observation. And the ORDER BY clause helps us to order the observation either in ascending or descending sequence. Ascending is default and for descending we use the keyword DESC. This order matters when we write an SQL query. Did you find that interesting? I'm sure you did and also want to learn a lot more. 
our online training will be a detailed one and you'll surely find it beneficial. So let's move on to understand how online training will happen at Multisoft. When you register with us for the SAS Advanced Training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 24 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on our website. The training happens through a secure web conferencing tool that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you wherein you log into a collaborative platform that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, applications, videos and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt three certification based mock tests. In addition, you get access to certified course notes, all related presentations and training videos. This is a sample of the online assessment that will test your knowledge on the various SAS advanced course concepts. All the questions will have few options, out of which you need to select the correct one. At the end of the assessment, you will get the information on the correct answers and reasoning behind the same. So let me summarize the session now. This will be a 24 hours instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced trainer. You will be able to attempt three certification-based mock tests. In addition, you will get 24 by 7 access to the learning management system where you can study through certified SAS course notes and do a lot more. At the end of the training, you will also receive a certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about online SAS advanced training and certification program. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.